We now learn a three-step method for adding or subtracting two fractions using the least common multiple and therefore the least common denominator. Let's go right ahead and work through a couple of examples. Here's the idea. Let's say I have to calculate 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. Well, the first thing I do, step 1, is to find the least common multiple of the two denominators. In this case, I need to find the least common multiple of 5 and 3. And I write that as LCM of 5 and 3. Now, to find the least common multiple, one easy way is to just write out the first few multiples of both 5 and 3. And this is done here. The first few multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. And the first few multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Now, looking at these two lists of multiples, it doesn't take us long to see that the smallest number they both have in common is 15. And so 15 is the least common multiple of 5 and 3, and therefore 15 is the least common denominator of these two fractions. Now that we know that, we move on to step 2, in which we write both of the fractions as equivalent fractions over 15. And here's how that works. I need to write 2 over 5 as a fraction over 15. In other words, I have to turn the 5 on the denominator into 15. Well, looking at our list of multiples, we can see that 15 is the 1, 2, 3, third multiple of 5. So to turn 5 into 15, I need to multiply it by 3. But since I'm multiplying the denominator by 3, I have to do the same on the numerator. That would be 2 times 3. That is now equal to 6 over 15. Okay, we now do the same thing for the second fraction. That was 1 over 3. Now, to turn 3 into 15, we look at our list of multiples again. We can see that 15 is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth multiple of 3. So, to turn 3 into 15, I need to multiply it by 5. So I write 3 times 5. But since I've done that on the denominator, I have to do the same on the numerator. So I write 1 times 5 there. That's now equal to 5 over 15. And that's our second step done. Our third and final step, step 3, is to actually add the two fractions. Indeed, I can now state that 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 6 over 15 plus 5 over 15. And now that both of the fractions are written over the same denominator, we can add them simply by adding their numerators. That would be 6 plus 5 over 15. And finally, that's equal to 11 over 15. And that's the final answer. Now, the good news is this method works as soon as we have to add any two fractions. And it also works when we have to subtract one fraction from another. So let's see how that works. Let's say we have to calculate 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5. Well, again, we follow our three-step method. The first step, remember, we need to find the least common multiple of the two denominators. So in this case, we need to find the least common multiple of 4 and 5. I write this LCM, least common multiple, of 4 and 5. Okay, well, let's go ahead and write the first few multiples of 4 as well as the first few multiples of 5. So the first few multiples of 4 would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. And the first few multiples of 5 would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Now, looking at these two lists of multiples, we can see that the smallest number they both have in common is 20. And so 20 is the least common multiple of 4 and 5. And it is therefore the least common denominator of these two fractions. We now move on to step 2, 
in which we write both of these fractions as equivalent fractions over 20. So, to write 3 over 4 as a fraction over 20, we focus on the denominator, and to turn 4 into 20, we can see in the list of multiples of 4 that 20 is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20 is the fifth multiple of 4. So we have to multiply 4 by 5 to get to 20. But since we've multiplied the denominator by 5, we have to do the same on the numerator. So that's 3 times 5. That equals to 15 over 20. We now do the same for the second fraction, that was 1 over 5. And to get from 5 to 20, well, we can see in the list of multiples of 5 that 20 is the 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth multiple of 5. So we have to multiply 5 by 4. That's 5 times 4 on the denominator. But since we've done that on the denominator, we have to do the same on the numerator. That would be 1 times 4. And so this equals to 4 over 20. Now we can move on to the third and final step, step 3, in which we actually do the calculation. At this stage, we can write 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5 equals to 15 over 20 minus 4 over 20. And since both of these fractions are written over the same denominator, we can do this simply by subtracting 4 from 15 on the numerators. That's equal to 15 minus 4 over 20. And finally, that's equal to 11 over 20. And there we go. That's the final answer. And the three steps we've just learned here will always work as soon as we're adding or subtracting with fractions. So do make a note of them. There we go, everyone. I really hope that helped. And if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel because that really does help us. See you soon.